Hi, I'm Whitney Morgan, Hashimoto's coach, gluten-free warrior, and creator of the Thyroid Reboot Method. I'm also an acupuncturist, which is why I'm interested in tapping and why I recommend it to my clients as a stress management tool. If you haven't heard of tapping before, it's a practice that consists of tapping on certain acupuncture points as you talk through your limiting beliefs, traumatic events, and difficult emotions. If you wanna learn how to tap, I recommend that you download an app called The Tapping Solution. There's also a book by the same name that will give you a deep dive into tapping and all the different things that it can be used for. I'll make sure to share the links for both in the video notes. So as an acupuncturist, the question that I get most often is, hey, why did you put that needle there? And this is because patients expect to be needled where they hurt or needles at the location where they have their problem. So it can be confusing, for example, when a patient comes in for a headache and I end up putting most of the needles in their feet. And in a similar fashion, my clients will often ask me, hey, why do I tap on these points? What's so special about them? So I thought it would be fun to answer that question in today's video. But before we jump into it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you'll get notified every time I post a video. So when we're tapping, we're accessing the power of eight different meridians and 10 specific acupuncture points. Honestly, it would take me hours to teach you even half of what I know about the different meridians and these specific points. So to keep things as simple as possible, I'm going to focus today on the psycho, spiritual, and emotional qualities of each one of these 10 points. What I'm not going to discuss here are the physical conditions that each point can treat, but I will provide a link for you in the video notes so that you can explore each point more in depth if you feel like doing that. So just to orient you before we start, each point is named for the meridian or the channel on which it's located and also for its position on that channel. For example, the first acupuncture point on the lung channel or the lung meridian is called lung one. It's pretty simple. Okay, let's go. The first area you tap is the fleshy part on the side of your hand right here. Tapping here stimulates two acupuncture points, small intestine three and small intestine four. These points support the growth and birth of new ideas. They increase clarity and they connect the wisdom of the heart to the body and mind and they enhance self-expression. Most importantly, they increase our ability to separate what serves us from what doesn't serve us. Next is the eyebrow point and this is bladder two. This point helps relieve mental fixation and emotional stagnation. It also calms the nervous system and relieves mental exhaustion. Then we move to the side of the eye where we're tapping on gallbladder one. Now this is a powerful point for supporting your overall psychic and spiritual energy. Next, we tap right below the eye on stomach two. This point helps us digest our emotional experiences and integrate them in a manner that supports our growth. It also helps us release any grief that we're holding on to. Then we tap right here, right under the nose. And this point is called DO26. It's also referred to as governing vessel 26. This point gets to the heart of the heart, the soul of the soul. This is a very deep access point. It helps restore a wholeness of spirit and also helps us to reclaim parts of ourselves that we've lost along the way. And next we tap right here, right under the mouth. And this spot is known as REN24. It's also called Conception Vessel 24. REN24 resolves fear and clears whatever is stuck. It also cleanses the spirit and the mind, allowing them to flow freely. All right, now we move right under the collarbone where we tap on the kidney channel right in the area of kidney 27. Now this point taps into our energetic reserve, giving us more energy to work with. It resolves irritability, anxiety, and mental fatigue. And it really just serves as a general tonic for the overall mind, body, and spirit. 
Next, we move under the armpit, right in the bra line. So it's on the side of the body, about right here. And you use all four fingers here. This is spleen 21. This point provides us access to the unconditional and nourishing nature of life. It connects us to source energy and it eliminates stagnation. The last tapping point is on the top of the head, right at the crown. And you can use all four fingers here as well. This point is do 20 or governing vessel 20. Do 20 is a pretty powerful point. It summons our spiritual resources. It also allows us to access the wisdom of our ancestors. Now it's super easy to learn how to tap. Like I said, download the app. You'll know how to tap in about 10 or 15 minutes. And all it takes is a few rounds through all of these points and you'll get the hang of it. You'll be able to tap anywhere, anytime for any reason. Have you ever tried tapping? If you have, I'd love it if you'd share your experience in the comments below. If you haven't tried tapping, I hope you'll consider it as one of your stress management tools. Just check out the links that I'm gonna put in the video notes. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found this video helpful or interesting, you can let me know by liking it, subscribing to my channel, or forwarding this video to a friend. And as always, if you have questions, please put them in the comments. I do my best to answer each and every one. Thanks, see you next time.